What's going on guys? Tool Cruise here with... Yes. We're here with Tuan Chan here at Tokai Cyclocross, Aichi Bokujo. Mm. This is where Tuan Chan entered her very first ever cyclocross race last year, her very first ever race. Sunny data. Sunny data. Mm. Today we're not racing. No, not this. No race. <laughs> <laughs> but we decided to come out. It's our local race, so we're going to come out and cheer some of our friends. And I wanted to show you guys what it's like here, the Japanese cyclocross racing, the Japanese racing scene. And this is one of the best cyclocross races in Japan. People come from all over, from Tokyo area, from Osaka area, the nearby cities, and some pretty far places. Even Hiroshima, some people come here. The course is really good, and we're going to show you guys some of the attractions here. So let's get started. So right here at the starting grid area right now, and let's make our way into the course. So this is actually held at a sort of farm area here. So there's a lot of agricultural things going on and lots of dirt and lots of mud. We've got some rain recently, so we can see if we take a look at the course. We've got some nice deep mud, some nice deep ruts and some little rocks everywhere. And if you take a look around, you'll see there are bikes everywhere. So we've got just a bunch of different bikes lying around on the ground right here. And this is a pretty typical scene here for races and cycling events here in Japan. People just leave their bikes lying around. You don't really need to lock anything up. There's no theft. And lots of cool different bikes around. Got a Niner here. Some other cool bikes here. Full bike packing setup here. This guy's actually got his locked. And a Klein here. Oh yeah. There's a bunch of different races going on right now. And this is the leader of this race right now, number one. The other cool thing about these events is they always tend to bring out some cool little food trucks and cool little event trucks like this. This is a, the first time I've seen this one, but really fancy setup here. Looks like they got a couple of different alcoholic beverages. Not going to be drinking any of that today. And this is really interesting. They got a nice little mini truck here with the full wash station here. So. It says they'll wash your bike for about 3,500 yen. And they've got a full schedule here so you can reserve when your bike's gonna get washed. Really useful on a day like today when there's gonna be like lots of mud and stuff. Hello. Very cool service. Pretty nifty stand here as well. They got the tatami mat covering the sort of pool area where I guess the water falls into the pool. Very nifty and just crazy number of bikes and people over here. Detakunai? Detakunata. So let's take a look at some of the other booths over here, what they got. Got a nice disc wheel over here and some different jerseys here. Some pretty nifty jerseys. Kumamon jersey, anime jersey. We've also got the Japanese national champion jersey here as well. And this is one of the bikes here from the local brand here in Nagoya, the Simworks bikes. Really cool gravel bike setup they got. So this is another one of the local distributor brands here in Nagoya. They run a really cool shop here. They've got a couple cool different products here. Uh, some of the bigger brands they carry is Chris King. And they've got a couple really cool items. Hello. <laughs> so they got a couple of really cool items here and the things that really is catching my eye is the cookies and also the giant pine cone. Love giant pine cones but don't really see those too often here in Japan but pretty sure this is a fake one, not sure actually though. And let's see what else we got here. 104 Cycle, this is another local brand run by one of our local carrying friends here. So he hosts one of the, or actually the very first fixed gear criterium race here in Japan. So it's Fidari Crit. They're running a really good program here and doing a lot of good things for the sport here in Japan. Really cool stuff. And I've made another video about this Fidari Crit here on the channel, so you can check it out. But they've been growing the event lately. And these are really cool, the bicycle charms. Very cool. And we got some cycling hats here. Let's check out some of the designs. So some different bears. Buddha. 
and some other bags and coin purses here. Very cool. <laughs> we got our keywords here. I love cross, sand, mud, sea, sea for cruise. This is the registration tent here. And one of my favorite tents here, the Butro Coffee Tent. So they come to all the cycling races here and they've got a very organized garbage system here. So everything's organized very neatly. And they've got some cool stuff. So always here at all the races supporting the athletes with some really good food and really good drinks. And one of their best menu items here is the Kare Kishimen. This is what I'm gonna be getting later today, but for first we're gonna get the tour done, then we're gonna come back and get some food. Over here is a map of the area that we're at. So we're at Aichi Bokujo. Bokujo means farm. Aichi is the area that we live in, Aichi Prefecture. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different things you can do here. They've got horse riding, different animal petting zoos and stuff like that. And this is one of my favorite sections of the course. This little horse bench that you can sit on. And we're definitely gonna take a picture here later with Tuan Chan once I find her. And they've also got a pig one here as well. I always love the little designs here. The artistic level of most Japanese people and most Japanese shops is just off the charts. And this is where you can get some of your merchandise here, the Aichibokujo t-shirts. So I've got one in black that I've worn a couple times on the channel here. They've got three different colors and some food as well. And we've got some other food trucks as well. Some pizza and also some kebab. This is the same kebab truck I think from the last event we came here at. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. How are you? Busy. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys are busy too. So the guy who runs this shop is a really nice guy. I met him at the last event that we did here. So now it's a tough choice. I gotta decide if I'm gonna get the kebab or if I'm gonna get the kare kishimen. Let's continue on with the rest of the course. This is the podium setup here. Really cool podium setup. They've got the tractor in the background and all the different sponsors, everything. Aichi Bokujo, Big Cross. <laughs> They've got the bell up at the top as well. Hello. So that's just brutal. They changed the course. So right after this really steep hill, you have to get off and go over the barriers up at the top. And this is another one of the brutal sections of the course right here. They've got the staircase, the stairway to heaven. They've got the Christian cross and a church up there. And this hill is called Mo Mo Saka. So the same sound from the cow. We say mu in English though. And here's the fun zigzag sandy portion on the bottom of the course. So you gotta go through this maze, make your way down to the bottom, and then climb up this really steep last little hill. At least there's traction today, that's good. And over here on the side, you can see there's a whole bunch of different vegetables and plants being grown. But anyway, really beautiful scenic area to race in. Not that you have time to take in the views while you're going through this painful hill. When I used to race here, actually I raced here a couple of years ago in the C1 race, so the highest level race. I got fourth in the race, so fourth place, one of my best finishes here in Japan. And I just remember, I didn't remember anything going up this hill actually, except pain. <laughs> so a lot of my friends came out, they said they cheered me on, but I honestly couldn't hear them, I couldn't notice them because this hill was just super painful. So they just gave the word, it's almost the lunch break right now. This last race is finishing up and the course is gonna be open for pre-riding right before the pro race. So I'm gonna hop on the course real quick and show you guys some of the course sections with my GoPro. And after that, we're gonna show you guys the pro race. So today is actually part of the Japanese pro series. So right now we've got the amateur races going on. And after this, it's gonna be all of the top level cyclocross racers in Japan. Like I mentioned, this is one of the most popular races here. So all the top athletes will be out and really excited to show you guys some of that footage. Anyway, let's hop on the course. Well, I just found Tun Chan. Is she Bike is still here. That's a good sign. Let's go get on the course.
just finished with the free ride. Man, that course is really, really fun. We're about to get started with the C1 race, so they're right behind me getting lined up and ready to start. Already the race is off to an exciting start. National champion in the national champion jersey off the front. That's the coolest way to do it. I'm pretty sure he's won this race the last two years in a row. The guy is a legend. And, and for those of you who maybe don't know too much about cyclocross, it's usually about an hour race for the Cat 1s, for the pros, an hour of torture. And this course is especially torturous because there's a lot of elevation change, lots of climbing and lots of difficult corners. But anyway, let's keep cheering everyone on. So I'm gonna make my way over to the other side of the course right now. This is where all the action is and there's some other cool parts of the course I wanna show you guys. Bike is still here, we're safe. And actually while we're walking through here, let's check out some of the unique bikes here. So there's a whole bunch of really cool bikes collected right here and I wanted to show you guys some of them. So let's take our sweet time going through here. And right over here we got this really old school giant. What is this, Hardline 7400, very cool. Let's take a slow walk through here, take a look at all these cool different bikes. Got a little kid's Jeep bike here. And this is really funny. I didn't expect to see one of these here, Brompton here, but they've got a really cool folding setup. So they just sit up there and they don't take up any space. Really cool bike. I've been wanting to test ride one of them for a long time. And what's this brand? S1 Neo. So I'm not really familiar with this brand. Somebody knows what it is, let me know down in the comments. Columbus bike over here and a Niner. Really surprised with the number of Niners here. I never really see them too often here in Japan, but definitely see some bigger numbers of them at the gravel events. What is this, a Sheen? So this is also a Simworks bike, it looks like, so custom build. I like the message on this bike. More free time, ride on. Could use some more free time. Very cool collection of bikes. We've also got full decked out Pinarello road bike here. So lots of people will come out here to watch and support the race and their friends. So they'll come out here on the road bikes. You see the road bikes got the all the mud on their tires right now. And oh, this is a really cool Surly. Check that out. Got the anodized tubs. They've got all the local stickers on here, the Simworks sticker, the Bucho coffee sticker. So you know this is a Nagoya bike. Ooh, and over here, this is pretty rare. 
This is a bomb track. You don't see too many of these in Japan. I'm pretty sure this is a German company. Very cool. So this one's set up single speed. The other cool thing you'll see with the events here is people will bring their tents. So this is the same in the summer, the same in the winter. People will bring their tents and put their stuff in there and it's kind of like their zone. I don't really remember seeing this at events in the US where people would bring little small tents like that, but maybe it's not only a Japanese thing. What up? So I just ran into Tim. He's on a 72 hour fast. What is it, 72 hours? So he's not eating for 72 hours. How far along are you? 56% in. Okay, a little over halfway. Yeah. Is it true that it gets easier the longer you get into it? It's a little easier than yesterday, yeah. Yeah, the first day is the hardest. I really want to eat. And that, that kebab smell over there is not helping. that's why I'm standing over here. I found Chuanchan again. Chuanchan's really good at finding people in the crowd, but I'm horrible at finding people. Actually, Chuanchan is about to head home. We've got a friend visiting us from Tokyo today, so she's going to go home and cook and prepare. Ja, kill bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. See ya. See ya. I forgot my wallet, so Tuan-chan is going to lend me some money and we're going to get some food. Alright, see ya. Thank you. So I got my kebab and that guy is super nice. We've been talking for a while and like I mentioned, we saw him at the last event. So he actually gave this kebab to me as a present. So big thanks to him and his place. If you see him anywhere around the Nagoya area, he's all over the place. So go check him out. Really good kebab and really good stuff. You wouldn't expect it, but kebabs are actually really popular food here in Japan. And one of my favorites, especially in the cold season. I think Tuan really jealous of my kebab that I got right now. Inioi dayo. We just finished with the men's elite race while I was stuffing my face with kebab. And after this race, we've got the ladies race. I don't think I can stick around too long because we've got uh, Tu and Chan's friends coming over from Tokyo today and the races are running a little bit later today. So unfortunately not going to be able to stay for the whole race, but we'll at least check out the start. There's some really fast ladies here. All right guys, I'm starting to turn into a popsicle. It is time for me to go home and hopefully have some nice, delicious food waiting for me. Like I said earlier, Tun Chan's friend is coming over from Tokyo. So he's another Vietnamese guy. And when Vietnamese people get together, they usually cook some good food. So we've got some good stuff to look forward to today. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry I can't talk too much right now. My mouth and everything is just kind of freezing over right now. And it was a fun day. I always love coming out to the races and, and always great to see all the people in the racing and cycling community here in the local Tokai area in Japan. The Tokai Cyclocross race series here is really great. Sometimes I really miss racing and being active in the scene. It's a really fun group to be a part of. In case you're interested and you're new to the channel, I've got a whole playlist of different races here from the Tokai Cyclocross series here. So you can check out some of my older videos of back when I was racing and active in the scene. There's some really fun videos there that you can go check out. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Tua Cruise. Later guys.